make you feel, make you feel, make you feel They boss like a thousand dollar bill Or a hundred mil What is up? Welcome back to the channel you guys What it is, a uh, what's up To my boos, my boots, it's been a minute, a hot minute Today I'm gonna do a get ready with me and throughout the video i'm just going to be updating you on my life and what's been going on and why i disappeared for three months three four months i went to ulta and i got me some new goodies because it was time to upgrade the stash and um so yeah i'm going to be featuring those new products in there showing y'all some of those they're i think they're all drugstore products if you're ready to hear this tea honey life update what's been going on with moi keep watching so like I said, I went to Ulta. I got a whole bunch of new stuff. Well, not a whole bunch, but just some some new stuff I felt like I needed because I had to clean out my makeup drawer because some of that stuff was <laughs> expired. If y'all know who Light Skin Keisha is, she does that all the time. She'll be like, and that's why I got it. <laughs> that's where I got it from. I already moisturized and washed my face, cleansed, all that good stuff. So I'm not gonna prime, and I don't think I bought another primer. So I'm just gonna jump right into these brows, honey. So I usually use either the Benefit Precisely My Brow, the Anastasia uh, Brow Pencil, or the NYX Brow Pencil. However, I have never tried the LA Girl Pro. I know, right? The LA Girl Pro, um, shady slim brow pencil um i've heard a lot of good things about it i just it was just something i never reached for to grab so i just never tried it plus i stand by the precisely my brow the only reason i'm not using it now is because i ran out when i went to the store i was like you know maybe i need to try something new maybe i need to branch out right 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 that's what i'm going to be using on my brows Actually, y'all, I'm finna pause and do my brows off camera because your girl is not an expert, expert and I need to concentrate when I'm doing my brows, so BRB. Okay, girls, so we're back. The brows are on. We highlighted underneath, all that good stuff. So um, I used the LA Girl Shady, Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the color, I believe this is espresso. No, the blackest brown. And then I highlighted underneath or concealed underneath with Juvia's Place in color, color 13. I graduate this May, next month, um, from college, the University of South Carolina. I'm about to use the LA Girl Set It Clear Brow Gel. Um, but I graduate next month. And um, needless to say, I have been super stressed. Anxiety has been through the roof. Um, I've just, it's just been a lot mentally and emotionally, physically um, going on. And it all stems around school because I want to graduate, like, I have, I'm on time to graduate, but you never know what could happen. They could come out the woodworks and be like, you're missing this or you're doing that, or they don't want to accept this grade, that grade. I don't want those problems. So I've just been keeping my head down, staying focused, <laughs> like my business. I have not, I've barely been working on my business. Um, I'll probably make a video on that, a separate video on just talking about my business and my thoughts and stuff on that. But basically everything has in my life has taken a standstill except for school and um i i think now i'm starting to finally get a little bit of air you know i'm able to breathe a little bit um because before y'all when i say i was stressed i was so stressed i would be like sick and like tired my energy was low it was just really really not good so um i'm glad to be doing better I actually took my graduation pictures uh this past 
Saturday. Y'all, beautiful pictures. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to post them on my Instagram, Facebook, maybe Twitter. So make sure y'all are following me on all my platforms so y'all don't miss them five pics per. It was really a nice experience to just sit there and just, you know, enjoy. I actually enjoy being a senior because up until this point, I have been <laughs> going crazy. I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Coverage Concealer um, in the color tan. I'm only going to use it on my eyelids um, right now because I don't want to do like a super, super glam look. I really just want it to be like every day, like a little natural everyday beat. You feel me? So, yeah. That's pretty much like my life update as far as that. I mean... Of course, my business stuff, but like I said, I'm going to make a whole, I'll tr I plan to make a whole another separate video just on like business and like what's been going on with that. But as far as my life, that's what's been going on. So I haven't just been out here being lazy, y'all. Like I really just been, your girl just want to graduate, okay? I'm ready to just, I'm ready to do the dash out of there, okay? I'm so ready to about so i just don't want any surprises or none of that hope y'all been like if uh, any of y'all are college students um or even high school students like how has your semester been how has this year been as far as like school have you been stressed you know are you graduating um and if you are congrats yes per like a lot of people now are tending to see college as like not a major accomplishment and it's like how is that not a major accomplishment like I know people who have literally people that I started out out with who aren't in school anymore and like working regular there's nothing wrong with a regular 95 but they're like trying to figure figure things out working a regular 95 and you know like college is not something it's not easy basically and, and I feel like people try to put this you know this false narrative of like it's just so easy when it's not <laughs> like oh, at least it's not for me it wasn't for it's, it hasn't been for me my four years have been tough okay tough I've learned so much I feel like I've grown so much even like my maturity level I've just I've just had to grow up Shout out to all my college students out there who are who are doing it, who are graduating. If you're still in school, listen, it, it looks rough right now, but it's it'll get once you get to that finish line and you start to see that, you start to see the, the finish line, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm going to use the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill palette. This is fairly old. I don't even think they sell this anymore. I'm going to do like a simple like neutral eye because like I said, I don't plan on going anywhere special. Um, I do. I am going to film another video for y'all. So be on the lookout for that. I've been having like anxiety as far as like after graduation. Um, Like, you know, like this is it Mimi like you're an adult at this point and it's not that that I don't feel like and let me just say this let me say this I have a awesome support system from my parents to my friends awesome support system they always encourage me uplift me you know be my cheerleaders but if you have struggled with any form of mental health you know that like it's a it's a self battle. It's a personal battle. So, like I said, I've just been, you know, having a little bit of anxiety as far as like you know my life afterwards. Cause like, is the the play play is over. Like this is not for play play anymore. This is like for real. Just pray that God continues to, you know, open doors that He sees fit. Um, and, you know, point me and guide me to the right, in the right direction and just, you know, deliver me from any insecurities I may have or, you know, 
any feelings of self-doubt because girl it's been rough i'll say that also in my life i have been going through the process of weight loss surgery if you don't know or if you can't tell or if you can't tell i am a plus size woman and let me just say this i love myself i love I love everything about myself. However, um, I feel like there's a difference between being comfortable and being confident. And I'm not comfortable with my body right now. On top of, I have on my, my family has an extensive medical history in terms of, you know, major medical conditions as far as like heart disease and diabetes, gout, all that high blood pressure all of that so like i'm really combating i'm really coming coming up, up against a lot and i overall i just want to be way healthier and i want to be confident and i want to be comfortable so i decided that i will i wanted to get the weight loss surgery so i've gone to two appointments actually and I've gone and I've done like the um, I've done the uh, other steps as far as like you know they make you go see a nutritionist, a dietitianist, um, a heart doctor to check your heart and all that stuff. I haven't got my X-rays on my chest yet, and I have not seen a psychiatrist yet. They do make you go see the a counselor or a psychiatrist, psychologist, just so you just so they can know that you know you're in the right headspace for this, right? Overall, the 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 process hasn't been like tough, but um it it's not like a you go to one appointment and then you're boom, you're done. So, if you think it's going to be like that, since I'm here to tell you it's not going to be like that. So, that is that. And honestly, I I have one more appointment to go to. And then I have to see the psychiatrist and I have to get my my shots done. You do have to do blood work as well. But I believe after that, I'll be able to schedule my surgery and then boom. So the one that I've been looking at um, specifically is the gastric and the sleeve. Now, you can go and do your own research on both. And I would, and I would highly recommend you do your own research before you, any type of surgery you get, any type of surgery you get do your own research okay like don't just don't don't rely on doctors and then you got to figure out what's going to be best for you so i've been looking at both the sleeve and the gastric bypass and um i honestly like both for me but the sleeve is literally like cutting your stomach into the size of a banana and it's not reversible so that is my only hesitation as far as like that as far as the sleeve um the fact that it's not reversible but i mean i'm doing this because i want a lifestyle change and i need a little bit of help um you know it's okay to need a little extra help you know I have been leaning more towards the gastric and that's basically when they reroute your stomach and all that stuff so I haven't decided which one yet but if you guys want I'll do a um, weight loss surgery update when I get an actual surgery day and maybe I'll even vlog that day you know afterwards just to show y'all you know what's going on so I wanted to go on a graduation trip after graduation, but being that it's still Rona, you know, that has kind of been at a halt, at a standstill. So I'm kind of bummed about that because I really want to celebrate. I just feel like I just want to be on the beach somewhere, you know, cute, drinking mimosas and, you know, like, you know, just enjoying my hot girl summer, starting off my hot girl summer before I have to go and get a job and, and just be an adult, you know? I use these lashes. I picked these up from my local Dollar General or my local, not my local Dollar General, my local, either either it was Dollar Tree or um, 
Come on, think about the Hollywood Channel. What's the other one, y'all? Family Dollar. That one. Yeah, so I wanted to go on a trip. I really wanted to go somewhere tropical, like Mexico, Putacana, Jamaica, Bahamas. Like, you know, real islandy, real hot girlish, real, like, you know. But, um traveling outside right now seems to still not be safe so i'm just gonna pump the brakes and you know when god when 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 god feels like it's time to travel or he gives me the okay to travel again then i'll travel outside the country until then i don't know what i'm gonna do i might do something not local but something reasonably distanced you know to celebrate that way but yeah y'all that's pretty much been as far as like life updates that's pretty much it like school mental breakdowns repeat <laughs> for the past three months um but you know i thank god for his grace for his you know his protection during these times as well because oh we can talk about that but um like i was saying I just thank God for him. I just thank God for keeping me and keeping my mind, y'all, because hoo hoo, it's been hard out here. I live in Columbia, South Carolina, and recently, I'm pretty sure it's been all over the national news, so I'm pretty sure you've heard about it at some point, but there was an incident here where a staff sergeant um, from Fort Jackson Military Base here in Columbia, South Carolina, he harassed um, a young black man in his neighborhood. And honey, when I say it went brazy, it went brazy. When I say brazy, brazy, brazy. It was on the shade room. It was on the national news. It was on the local news, like crazy. And it was, when I say I'm so proud of my community and my people, they went out there, they rallied with each other. They stood up for what was right. They stood up. Like I said, I'm so happy and I'm so proud of my community for rallying behind and, you know, standing up for what is right, period. Like, because that whole situation was just uncalled for, crazy. So that has, that was something, you know, that has really shaken the community here. So, um... Like I said, if you're not familiar with, with what I'm talking about, look it up, girl. It's it's based in Columbia, South Carolina, and it is a white staff sergeant who harassed a young black man in the neighborhood, in his neighborhood. And child, when I say he showed out, girl, he showed out, like, pushed the little boy and, like, you know, and then the wife in the background is what really got me. Can we find, can we figure out where the wife works too? Because she needs to get got to. And that's just how I feel. And I'm, I'm not taking my, I'm not taking. And that's just that on that. I have no remorse because you had all that lip and all that mouth. I wonder what you're talking about now. Probably nothing because they had to leave their home. Because that's how deep, y'all, when I say they were outside at man house, deep, deep. Okay, so lashes are on. Now we're going to get into the most exciting part. Now we're going to get into the most exciting part. So I went and I got the new Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation in the color tan 23. Now, y'all, uh, we going to see how this comes out because... I'm thinking I should have went down, on, like down a color. It's so hard for me to shade match y'all, but here is the foundation. It's really like sleek and cute. It is a um, glass bottle. It says this long wearing oil free natural finish foundation hydrates skin and blurs imperfections for the ultimate soft focus look. Infused with hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, glycerin. So, you know, all that good stuff, honey. So, let's just get right into it. So, I'm going to use a brush to apply. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it right on the brush. 
and we're gonna see what's what's y'all excuse my shaky hands for real like <laughs> trimmers anyways we'll see Ooh, girl. Girl. <laughs> girl, that is orange. Y'all, this is why you should always go with your good, y'all. Like, that, that is too orange for me, but this is all we got right now so we're just gonna make it do what it do period it's giving me medium to full co coverage um and i believe it says that on the bottle too so it's not like a full coverage straight out the bottle foundation but i mean it i will say it looks really pretty and it um it's going on really smooth and not hard to blend so that's a plus because baby i don't like to do extra work y'all this foundation is so orange on me i just know this is why i just need to continue to go with my gut girl i just be knowing like i don't know it's just uh, shade matching has always been kind of hard for me like I don't be knowing whether am I am I considered tan. Like, I know I'm considered tan, but like, am I on the darker end of tan or am I like more on the lighter end of tan? Like, it's always been a battle for me to shade match. So, hey y'all. So this is with about two pumps of foundation. Like I said, I didn't want anything. You know, oh girl. <sighs> Yeah, and I'm looking really orange. This is definitely, I definitely could go down a shade. Um, but with concealer and stuff, I'm hoping that it will all come together. But the foundation itself is giving. I, I, I will definitely give it that. This foundation is really pretty. Now, I don't know how it wears over time. But as far as the look, it is giving me a really like satin, you know, velvety filtered look. So that that is a plus i like this um obviously i just need to go get my shades so for concealer i'm going to use the juvia's place in the color 13 again um hopefully this does something child cause i need a little bit of help right now because i'm looking like a pumpkin this is elf's concealer sponge this is my first time using it but and I've kind of been into lately, I've been kind of into using um, brushes for like buffing out concealer, especially under my eyes. But I wanted to try this because it's for concealer. So. Use the Juvia's Place concealer again to contour in the color 8. Setting powder, we're going to try the Wet n Wild um photo focus in the color banana <gasps> oh y'all this is pretty oh yeah that's money right there that's money. That is money, honey. It's giving me airbrush. Oh! oh. Y'all don't think y'all understand. It's giving me, it's giving me airbrush. It's giving me photo. It's giving me filter. Um, this is the color con bronzer in the in what shady beach in what shady beaches bring some hydration back to the face i'm going to use the elf stay all night micro fine setting mist blush i'm gonna try um elf and always rosy highlight using wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the color Precious Petals. For lips, I'm gonna use the NYX 
Sway in that lipstick to line and the NYX butter gloss it's in the color creme creme boule. Now we're gonna do one last final spray. All right, guys, so that is it. That is all for this video. If you made it all the way to the end, staying with me. Um, thank you guys for your patience and you know, dealing with me and my mental health. We're looking, we're looking forward to better days, um, good days, period. Make sure you have those post notifications on so that you are notified every time that I upload. Make sure you like and share this video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you follow all my socials that will also be down in the description box below, as well as the list of the products that I used in this video. Guys, be safe, be lit, go get your money, go get your coin, and be blessed. And I'll see you on the next one. I just wanna make you feel, make you feel, make you feel Big